Okay, I'm gonna go through a walkthrough of the inside of the camper. I'm gonna go on, go on in. All the lights are off. We got a, a right here as you walk into the left, you have your lights, light switch for your main living space. Your second light switch is gonna turn your light on outside, off on. We'll turn that back on. This is to slide the room in or out. The slide out, we got it out. We're gonna leave it out. And this is to extend or retract the outside awning. So if we press the extend button, your awning's gonna slide out. Retract button, we'll pull it all the way in until it stops. And we'll, and we'll leave it in for now. Now, if we go down here, we've got a panel to turn our water pump on, which you do not need if you're hooked up to water. That's an on-demand water pump. We do not need need that if we're hooked up to water. Then this is your water tank. I mean, your water heater on gas or your water heater on electric. We're going to run it on electric if we're hooked up to power supply. Gas only if we're running off a generator or if we have no power supply and we're running off the battery. We only want to cut the water heater on once we have water flowing. So I got it off for now. This way, this is to check our levels, check our battery level. Fresh water should be empty. Black water, it black water tank normally will show that it has level when it's empty. It has been emptied and flushed, so something's hanging up on that level transmitter, and the gray tank is empty. Black tank where all your toilets going to go. Only your toilet gray. All your sinks and showers are going to come to the gray tank. So it's going to fill up pretty quick if you use a lot of water. So be mindful of uh, if you're going to be here for a weekend or whatever, not to use too much water or your gray tank may fill up. This is a light for outside. It's a light for under the steps, under the step light, red light under the steps. Right. Turn it on for now. Got our fire extinguisher there. This is the front bed. It's made up, clean sheets, pillowcases. It's the only bed that's made up in the camper. Got a TV here if you want to run a uh, fire stick or something to it. You can watch TV or you can run a cable, splice and run a cable to it. But I, I do not I do not have that one hooked up. This one I do have, if you have a cable at your site, you can run cable to the television. And I do have cable at this site here. So we do have cable. Okay, uh, this is your slide out, table, kitchen, couch, comes out into a bed, you lift up bottom here, just lift up, pull out, couch folds into a bed. Now we're going to grab the back here and the front, we'll grab the front first, lift up, and then grab the back, and we can just pop it back down into a couch. And you can see I got the cup holders there for the center. You can lift it up or, or back down for cup holder. Now this one does also come out into a bed. We would lift the table up, take the poles out, set the table on this rail all the way around, and then we could take the cushions out and lay them out. All right, as far as this side, sink, pretty straightforward, hot and cold water, microwave, stove you turn it on light and then you turn your igniter and it will light up obviously move this out the way first got the gas blocked down right now so you're not going to get any uh any fire on that fridge can run off gas or electric if you're plugged into power you want to go electric save the gas so we're plugged into our power so we got the switch on send auto is working if that check light is lit up then you know there there's a problem your uh, refrigerator is not working. This button we would press in to make it come out. That would give us gas. Like I said, we don't want to run on gas. We're going to go electric. So, go over some of these. Uh, we'll go over the thermostat in a different video. That's the thermostat. Light switch. That's for this light up here. A nice light to use maybe when you're uh, sleeping or if it's uh, you just don't want it to be too dark in here. Bathroom, 
toilet, flush valve here for the toilet, sink, medicine cabinet. Here's your shower. We got a light switch over here. Second light for the light. First one is the fan. You don't run the fan, we lift up the exhaust. I'll block it in, turn it off. Shower, not too big, but it'll get you by. touch on this and the medicine cabinet I do have some extra supplies if uh, you forgot to bring some stuff I may have some items for you and in this and in this closet we have a on the very top we got extra sheets some extra sheets for your beds in the back got some uh, paper towels regular bath towels bath rags kitchen towels extra toilet paper more extra sheets and some cleaning supplies. Some cleaning supplies in here. Some Swiffer wet dits. We got a Swiffer mop there, uh, broom and dustpan, and a Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner. And this is the back. Two bunks on this side. Got the pillows and blankets. You got to put the pillowcases on. They're back in this other cabinet. Got your bunk on this side. And then this little table here, we can fold this table down just like the main table and we can turn this bottom bunk also into a bed. Another neat feature about this, about this bed is we can raise it out of the way and latch it here, latch it there and on that side and we can have a little more room if we just wanted to go table and uh, set up a TV back here for the kids or, or, and relax small area of storage down here with the extra blanket but that's it that's uh the light switch for that bedroom and all the lights have a switch on them where you can turn them on and off if you want to instead of coming back to the main switch so if any light's not working, that's probably the problem. This one right here doesn't even run off a switch. You have to come. Let's see. Let's see. Dining table light. Blinds. They just push up. Pull down. Push up. Radio have speakers inside the camper and outside the camper so you have so you have two different zones zone one which would be inside the camper and zone uh, two zone two which is outside the camper Alright, that's it. Thank you.